Welcome to a new video. If you don't already know me from Instagram or TikTok, um, my name is Mona from Healthy Holy Life and um, today I'm filming a Q&A, so a question and answer um, with all the questions that you guys have been asking me on a regular basis on Instagram. And um, if you don't already know, I moved like to LA like a week, like a week ago. Yeah, it's a week ago. And um, I will cover like all of those things in that video as well. So I organized all questions you asked me on Instagram into four different categories. So first we'll go over personal questions, like everything about myself. Um, and then we will go into well, everything about living in LA. And I will also show you my room and like the university and stuff. Like I filmed some things. Um, and then we will get into fitness, living a healthy lifestyle in general, and also all things plant-based. So about my vegan journey and things you asked about being vegan. So like a question I get asked all the time is how old I am and where I lived before moving to LA. So I'm 22 years old and I am originally from Germany. Then the next one is what are you studying? So I'm studying communications or like communication science, at least in Germany. Um, but like coming to LA, um, I now have courses like, well, I have one course in food science and nutrition because I'm that's just what I'm passionate about and one in financial planning and one in public relations and also one in event, like prof professional event planning. Um, and then there was a, like a few questions about how I edit my videos and photos. So for photos, I usually use Lightroom Mobile. Um, it's actually a free app, it's pretty good, and I created my own presets in there. And so in that way my feed just looks cohesive and like aesthetic, if you want to say that. And I think that's so important, like because you always have to think when people go onto your profile and the first thing they see is your feed, um, they depend like that's the moment they decide if they want to follow you. And if that looks aesthetic and beautiful, they are much more likely to follow you. So you should get definitely get into editing if you want to be successful on any kind of platform. Um, and for video, I actually used I used to use um, apps called VN and Splice, but I just recently got Final Cut Pro on my Mac. Like I used the the test version for like 90 days, and then I decided I'm really liking it, so I bought it. Um, and yeah, it's just more advanced. And if you edit a lot, you should definitely look into it, in my opinion. And especially for YouTube, I think it's pretty much necessary to have like some kind of good editing program. And some people ask me what my plans are for the future and I am um, like, I don't have a set plan for that. Like to be honest, um, I know that's kind of kind of scary for people, but um, I honestly don't know yet. And I always believe that things happen the way they should happen and you just need to have like trust in it. Um, and be sure that your path is going to be good. <laughs> I don't know, like um, there's just something for you and you just like have to trust the process. That's what I meant. Um, and I always thought I wanted to live here in the US ever since I spent a year here in high school and um, after high school. Like I, after high school, I went here to be an au pair for a year in Arizona and I loved it. So I always told um, everybody when I got back that that's like my dream for the future to live in the US. Um, but when I re like when I got here, I realized it's even more important the people around you. Like that's like the most important thing. And second comes the place where you live, in my opinion. Um, so I am going to do my semester abroad here. That's why I came to LA. But I will get into that more later. Um, and then I will maybe extend for an internship, um, or maybe I will do the internship in Germany. I really don't know yet. Um, and then after that I will get my, get my bachelor's degree and then maybe I will do my master's in like something like health communications um, Maybe I'm not I don't know yet. And I think that's totally fine. Like don't be um, Like so hard on yourself. You don't have to have a set plan for any everything It's totally fine to just go with the flow and see where it takes you so next we're moving on to living in LA and like yeah, everything about LA. Um, so why did I move to LA in the first place? Um, I'm actually doing a semester abroad, so it's like an exchange program um, from my home university and um, the Long Beach, like California State in Long Beach. 
CSU Long Beach, that's what my university here is called, and I am going to stay for one semester. Um, so I actually moved to Long Beach, which is like um, really close to LA. Like many people asked what was my um, impression of LA so far and like how has it been so far. Um, and to be honest with you, the beginning was quite tough. Like, um, I didn't know anybody to be honest. And when I arrived in our apartment, um, I am having two American roommates and I never had roommates before, so that's new to me. Um, and everything, like, like not even the apartment, but like my room especially, um, was really dirty. And also the bathroom that's supposed to be mine, um, it was really dirty. So I wanted to fly back to Germany immediately when I got here. <laughs> Um, but now I've been here for a week and it's getting better every single day. I made some new friends I'm getting along really well with my roommates um, And yeah, I'm still I still have to get used to having roommates because I am so used to living alone to be living alone and I'm like a really clean and organized person <laughs> um, and like I just have to Get used that some people are not like that and that's fine. I have to respect that um, but yeah, like in general, I would say it's always so worth it to get out of your comfort zone and to be honest, you only really grow as a person if you get out of your comfort zone and in order to do that, you have to feel uncomfortable. So that's probably a good sign if you're uncomfortable because that means that you're experiencing new things and that you're growing. So always acknowledge that. And a question that popped up so many times was uh, if the groceries in LA are more expensive than in Germany. And yes, definitely. Um, I was actually surprised. Like even in the regular grocery stores, like not even the health food stores, um, things are super expensive. Like you definitely have to be more humble in um, with your choices than in Germany. Like in Germany, I would pick like different varieties and like take all of them if I couldn't decide but now instead of get, getting like a lot of different things um, I try getting one at a time and the next like next week I'm going to buy the other one um, but it's not difficult to find vegan or like healthy things you just have to be careful not to get fooled by marketing because so many things that look healthy and have like a healthy marketing um, or like a healthy package uh, or like yeah, it, it's labeled as healthy, are not healthy at all. Like the first ingredient is sugar and there is like a huge list of processed foods and artificial sweeteners and all that stuff. Um, and you have to be super careful and always check the labeling. Labeling. That's what I always say, like always check the label. No matter in where, what place in the world you are, the label is telling you what is inside and that's what you, you should focus on. Don't just like look at the front and think, oh, it's healthy. No, actually check the label and that's when you will know if it's actually healthy. <laughs> um, and yeah, somebody asked me, how will you continue your healthy lifestyle in LA? Um, and they said, because not having what you need or like the temptation to go for junk food and how did my diet change in LA? I think that's such an interesting question. Um, so there are actually substitutes for pretty much anything. So um, I basically still, still eat the same meals and the same foods. Um, but I also try processed, like more processed or like quote unquote unhealthy foods um, if I want them. Like if I see them in the grocery store, um, I would always get them. Um, because I would never want to deprive myself and feel like I'm missing out of, on anything. Um, and like I already said so many times, everything is fine in moderation. Like seriously, um, there is not one single thing that you can't have in this world. Like if, as long as you know you're right, the right portion sizes and you, you enjoy everything in moderation and you have that balance, everything is fine. Like seriously, everything. Um, and you just don't want to look back one day and regret that you were like on a diet or like that you didn't allow yourself certain foods. I mean, obviously I'm not gonna like eat junk food all day long, but if there is like any kind of candy or like whatever it is, like just vegan junk food or whatever, I would always go for it and just try it. And then I like, I just naturally crave that balance. Like when I was eating out the day before, I just naturally craved like a more fulfilling, um, nutritious breakfast. So that's just like how I found my balance. 
And also I just like spending my money on food. Like I would rather invest in healthy foods and healthy meals than anything else. So I also go to like the more expensive health food grocery stores like Whole Foods. Um, and also I get a lot from Trader Joe's. And I might be spending more than the average person here. But um, then I like, I don't spend as much on other things like, I don't know, alcohol or stuff. <laughs> and um, yeah, like processed foods actually tend to be cheaper here than like healthy foods. I get that, uh, at least when you like buy substitutes and stuff. Talk about it.